Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do like a really different video to what I normally do, uh, but I had thought of the idea, I thought it'd be really fun, so yeah, I'm just gonna do it. So today I'm going to be making the Taskmaster cocktails that were made in series 10, episode six. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be really fun. I thought it'd be fun to try like something that they've made. Um, yeah, kind of like doing a task, but like I'm not actually like doing it doing it because I think like actually trying to make a, it co it silently would be difficult because I don't have any way of like measuring that. So yeah, the lighting's probably not great in this video uh, because like I'm in my kitchen in the evening and like there's overhead lights. It just doesn't really create the best like video <laughs> like experience. And there's also the fridge right there. So that's probably gonna be picked up quite a bit. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun anyway. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna go in like from from last place to first place. So series 10, last place, it's gonna be Catherine Parkinson. And hers is very simple. Uh, it's just milk. I'm gonna try and like film some of it on my phone as well so you can see, but that's all I'm gonna put in. I know I don't like milk. If you have watched my live streams for when we're talking about series 11, you may have may remember a little rant I went on about how much I hate milk. So, cheers. I mean, it's milk, isn't it? Uh, I'm not gonna waste it though, because I will use it for coffee, so it will not be wasted. I think it's probably gonna be nicer than some of the other ones we're gonna try, but in terms of would I actually drink it, it's, it's a no. I mean, also, like, is it even like a cocktail? There's no alcohol in it. I mean, this she could have, I know obviously she didn't have the time, and her cocktails, like when she was working on it before, like all the failed attempts, they were looking really good. Like literally adding some like coffee liqueur or something into that would make it really nice, like basically like a white Russian. It reminded me, like drinking milk out of like a fancy glass reminded me of that scene in the IT crowd, um, you know, when they're like the restaurant and they're drinking milk in wine glasses. That's what that reminds me of. So in fourth place in the show, it was Daisy, and hers was the, F sake or F sake. I don't know if I can swear on YouTube, but it's, YouTube's funny about stuff like that, so I'm not going to. But yeah, so this is apparently warm vodka and lime juice. That is all that goes into this, which uh, is probably gonna be horrible, uh, but we're gonna, gonna try it anyway. Uh, I don't know how much to put in, because Alex doesn't didn't tell us the measurements of stuff. I'll put like one shot in, because it's not gonna be nice, so. I'm not going to mix it up because it has to be warm and mixing it involves using the ice so I'm not going to even though that would make it nicer but that's not the point to make it nice <laughs> it's to make it how they made it so yeah I'm gonna squeeze some lime into it I guess I don't know how much lime maybe maybe just like half I think this one is going to taste worse than the milk <laughs> just because it's going to be really strong like, i mean i think that's the right color of what daisy's was but hers was a lot more in the glass um but i don't want to waste too much you know i've i've criticized taskmaster for wasting <laughs> wasting food so i'm not going to like go over on this and most things i will reuse like I, I could probably make a cocktail out of this anyway um lime and vodka oh god it's gonna be so strong okay and again, this would be nice if it had ice in, but it doesn't. <coughs> it's strong. Not as bad as I thought though. It kind of tastes like lime. I mean, it's better than I thought it'd be. I could probably drink all of that if I wanted to, but I'm probably gonna add some lemonade to that later. Maybe she had a higher percentage of vodka in it, but it's not actually that bad. There's just gonna be like, <laughs> five glasses of just random drinks around my house now. So next up is Richard's Doesn't Matter Horn. Uh, again, great name. And this, I am actually gonna shake it up because I feel like it would be nicer because all drinks, like alcoholic drinks are nicer cold. So yeah, and I think he might've mixed it, but I, I can't quite remember. Uh, <laughs> and okay, here's, here's a vodka, rhubarb drink and olives. Um, I hate olives, so that's gonna be fun. And Alex said it was very strong, so I'm going to put in probably like a full, like two, two shots, and then quite a decent amount of the rhubarb drink. But yeah, rhubarb drink is very hard to find. I went into like five different shops, and I ended up getting a rhubarb and ginger press, press a? Cause yeah, that was the only thing I could find that was rhubarb drink. Don't know how nice that's gonna be. <laughs> 
But uh, at least we've actually got something. I thought I'd have to like do the video a different day because that is just so hard to find. Uh, how much is that? Okay, yeah, that's two shots. Plus, I really want to use my shaker, so that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this. Surprisingly, I, I thought this video would be like quite expensive to make, but I had most of the stuff already here. Um, I'm going to put double the amount of rhubarb drink to vodka, uh, just because I feel like it'd still be strong um, without being disgusting. Ooh. Okay, I don't think shaking fizzy things works. Um, that's something we've learned today. Loads. Right, okay. Oh, olives. Ooh. I hate olives. I think you had three olives in it. What does having an olive in a drink actually do? Like, it doesn't actually add any flavour. I think that's quite accurate to what the picture looked for what it looked like in the show. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think it's going to taste horrible. Um, it's going to be very strong like vodka. That drink wasn't very nice. And I hate olives, so... Cheers. It's not nice. Again, I don't think I had <laughs> I don't think I added enough vodka because it doesn't taste like too strong of alcohol. And like unless Alec Alex is just not very good with alcohol, <laughs> but it doesn't taste that strong, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Oh that's way too much. But you know, actually this thing is going a lot better than I thought. Um I thought I'd actually hate all of these. I mean, I'm not looking forward to Moans, but we'll we'll deal with that when we get to it. Yeah, okay, that's wrong now. <coughs> oh God, not terrible, but not nice either. Um, I think I'd probably say I preferred daisies to this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try an olive just for, just to, you know, check if I do like it. Olive in rhubarb drink. Oh my God, why do people like that? Oh god, honestly, that is that that's the worst part of, of this video so far. It's just trying that olive. Right, so in second place was Johnny Vegas's The Cloudy Mule, which I don't think I've got everything that he put in because um yeah, it looked like he was using a lot more things than Alex then said afterwards, so I don't know what if stuff just went in the bin. Like if all these things didn't go in, but he but Alex said it was lemon, coke, lime and champagne. And straight away, I haven't got champagne, I've got prosecco because <laughs> champagne's expensive. First this one I am gonna shake apart from the prosecco and oh yeah. I reckon Johnny's is gonna be quite nice. Um, obviously it was the nicest tasting out of everybody's in the, in the show. So yeah, I'm quite excited to try this. The things that I think he added that, um, Alex didn't say was cucumber and orange juice and olives. I don't know how much to add. Cause yeah, I was trying to what, like pay attention to what, like what he was doing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw him put orange juice. Yeah, I don't think there was any other alcohol put in. Like apart from the prosecco, which we'll put in in a second, but yeah, yeah. So now I'm gonna like put this in the glass and then top it with a bit of cola and a bit of prosecco. So. Again, no idea how much I'm gonna add. Oh god, that looks disgusting. Maybe he didn't add orange juice. I could have sworn I saw him put orange juice in it though. Now, this is the cheapest little bowl of Prosecco I could find in Lidl, so it's probably not gonna be that nice. Oh my god, this looks disgusting. But I suppose Johnny's did look disgusting as well, so um, I guess it fits, so... The cloudy mule, everybody. Not bad. That's really nice. Definitely the nicest one, hundred <laughs> percent. I could drink. I could probably, yeah, I'll probably drink that later. <laughs> Not going to drink it all now, but again, he might have put some other alcohol in it, but I just didn't see. Um, and Alex didn't say. Ten out of ten for this one. Definitely doesn't look pretty, which was one of the requirements of the task, but doesn't taste disgusting, which I reckon the next one will. Obviously, Moan mixed his one in a bin, but I'm gonna do it in the shaker uh, because I don't actually want to put it in a bin. I just know this one's gonna be bad because he, before he like started mixing everything, he goes, does wine and milk go together? And as Alex attests, it does not go together, but I guess 
I'm gonna drink it. Again, this is one where there was so much stuff that he put in that I'm probably not getting everything. Uh, but the things that Alex said was in it was wine, milk, egg, orange, and orange juice. So that's what I'm gonna mix together. As I said, he, there's probably lots of other random stuff in <laughs> in um, in that bin, but I'm not, yeah. Because obviously the stuff is all unlabeled, so it's really hard to like work out what things were. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of going with what Alex said on this one. Okay, so for the wine, he didn't say what kind of wine it was. I only like rosé, so I'm gonna put rosé in it. I don't know what else to say about this one. It's just, it's gonna be disgusting. Like we, we know. <laughs> um, oh my God, why can't I open this? <laughs> I don't know how much to add. Again, there's no measurements. Oh God, it's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be so bad. Okay. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna show you guys close up what that, what that currently looks like. I'm gonna be drinking this. <laughs> oh, okay. This, I think might be the worst thing I'm ever gonna taste. Orange juice. I don't know whether like, mi oh my God. <laughs> I don't know whether mixing this is gonna do any good at all. It looks worse than what Moan did. It's gonna give you a nice little close up. Yeah, lovely. And orange, okay. I wasn't really regretting this video until right now. I know he definitely put a slice of orange at the top. I've only got like satsuma, so that's what we're gonna put in. I don't even think it's safe for me to drink this. So I'm only gonna take the tiniest sip. It looks so much different to his. I think I might have, like it's coming out so slowly. Oh my God. Look at that. That is the, that's the, that's the egg. Oh God. I'm gonna put a bit of orange and I'm pretty sure I had a bit of lime in it as well. It's insane as well because like this is probably not the worst thing that Alex has consumed on the show. I think he says the worst tasting thing was like the Bird magazine from series eight. I think Lou Sanders' thing. But yeah, it's hard to believe that that this isn't the worst thing he's ever tasted. And I haven't even tried it yet, but it's gonna be disgusting. Bon appetit. Oh my God, that is so much worse than I thought it'd be. So <laughs> it tastes of wine and orange juice mixed together. And then you've got a sour milky taste at the back. And yeah, this I'm not gonna save for later. What did we expect? We didn't expect it to be nice. <laughs> I think Moan should not have got five points for that. Even though the bin juice was like the whole theme of it was incredible and you know, it was ingenious putting it all in the bin, but that is neither the prettiest or the tastiest cocktail ever. It was absolutely disgusting. It looked vile, it tasted vile. So, <laughs> right, just in order of taste, I would rank it Moan's at the bottom, then probably mm, Richard's, then Catherine's, then Daisy's, then Johnny wins, because his, even though it looks absolutely disgusting, it looks even more disgusting in a in a glass, but um, yeah, it, it tastes nice. It kind of just tastes like a Bucks Fizz, but with like just some added things to it. This is basically just kind of like an experiment to see whether or not I would enjoy doing like task themed videos. I think rather than me actually attempt to do, to do the task, I think I'm definitely gonna lean more to like recreating what the contestants have done. Yeah, I've got a really silly idea to like eat like a Taskmaster contestant for a day, just purely so I can try absinthe on toast. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I do not recommend that you try bin juice, uh, but yeah, it was fun. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it, it's, yeah, this is fun. A very different video and yeah, I quite enjoyed it apart from drinking the bin juice and eating the olive. Those are the two worst things of this video. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please watch this video, please. <laughs> I didn't drink bin juice for nothing. Yeah, so yeah, if you like this video, please like it because it really helps the channel. Comment down below anything. I don't comment on <laughs> what you think these taste like. And yeah, uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos to do with Taskmaster. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.